Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mmm. Wow, what an absolutely gorgeous morning out here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex area. I'm telling you what, it is absolutely beautiful. Got a nice breeze coming in here. The air smells amazingly clean. We had a good rain there, and boy, I'll tell you, it's really amazing. Article I was reading this morning, guys, I'm telling you what, these folks legitimately believe that we are total blithering idiots to believe the stuff that they are actually putting out. Now, this one, guys, is on the CPI, the Consumer Price Inflation Numbers. So they came out and they're reporting, oh my goodness, the CPI is as low as it's ever been in the last 27 months. Can you believe that? Guys, <laughs> when you actually dig into it and you find out what they're talking about, they're talking about sheltered issues like, you know, used cars and, you know, different service, things like that. And what's not included in those CPI numbers is absolutely amazing. Well, what's not included is, you know, housing costs, your shelter costs, your rent. Rent has gone up. Food, food's not in those numbers. That's not up either. Oh, and what else isn't up? Well, and surprisingly enough, utilities and gas, well, that's not up there either. And it's absolutely obscene that they come out, these statisticians, and they pump, pump, pump out these numbers, these, you know, government bureaucrats, make it look like, oh my goodness, look at, we're at 27 months low on the consumer price inflation. Well, guys, it's absolute hogwash. Ask anybody that is actually living in the real world if it's cheaper today than it was two and a half plus years ago. I mean, come on, it's absolutely ridiculous. But that's how they treat us, guys. They literally manipulate the narrative out there to make it seem like, wow, it is so, so low. But I'll tell you something else. If we really are seeing, and if we were to see major, major drops in inflation, you can bet your bottom dollar, your last XRP, the Federal Reserve and all these central banks, they're going to burn that print and press like absolutely insane because they need to inflate. That is exactly what the plan is. They want to inflate, inflate, inflate. It's the government's greatest temptation. It was all part of the plan in the beginning when they were giving out all that helicopter money when we were dealing with all this over here. And guys, look, all that, all that, you know, helicopter money back there when we were going through all this was supposed to be for you and I and other folks that, you know, we're having to, you know, we're, we're seeing a reduction in our incomes. Why? Because, you know, we were all being, you know, shut down and all this kind of stuff. Where did most of that dough end up? Guys, it ended up in the markets because we saw one of the biggest bull runs in history. Yet, the whole wide world had, and their economies practically came to a screeching halt. Manufacturing, shipping, service business, you name it. We all know it. Most of us were out in our balconies banging pots and pans for the people that were, you know, supposedly out there, you know, trying to help us out. Remember all that? And so the whole wide world would, had come to literally an absolutely screeching halt, yet one of the biggest bull runs in the equities markets that the world has ever seen. I'm telling you, it's absolutely obscene what they're trying, the narrative that they're trying to feed you and I on a day-to-day -day basis, truly. Because if you were to go out there and you were to ask the average single mom, single dad, or even couples, you know, a lot of people working hard, working people, that are now becoming the working poor. Why? Because they are literally having to, you know, pay astronomical prices for things just a couple of years back, you know, they could afford. Now they can barely afford that. And we can see because consumer credit card debt is on the rise in a massive way. And we can also see that it's not buying like luxury goods, new TVs, this, this and that, Gucci purses and all that. No, no, no. People are using their credit cards to do what? pay their utility bills, buy their groceries, get their kids school supplies, stuff like that. And of course, if they're using credit cards to do it, and we just reported not too long ago, listen, literally within the last week and a bit, that the average American citizen, now I don't know about all other countries around the world, but definitely in the US, that most don't even have $1,000 saved in the bank for a rainy day and and over 12% of the working population has absolutely zero savings that tells it all so don't 
come out here and tell us, oh, how the CPI is just dropping off a cliff. That is baloney. We know that that is not the truth. The reality is, and the real numbers of what inflation looks like, is when we see our rent increasing, is when we go to the grocery store and we're paying literally, you know, probably 100% more for a can of beans than what you did two years ago. In fact, probably more than that, more like 200%. In fact, I was in that grocery store recently and I remember Judy and I, you know, being preppers like we are, we had loaded up on a bunch of, you know, canned beans, corn and all this kind of stuff. We were getting it at 38 cents a can. Walked into the store the other day, it's 98 cents for the same stuff. Now, a lot of people think, oh, well, 98 cents. That's 60 cents more for the same can in less than one year. That is unfathomable. The percentage increases are truly obscene when it comes to food. And guys, it's only going to get worse because what are they reporting? Well, they're reporting that we're seeing a lot of these farms, you know, facing drought, facing this, facing that, all these reasons why, you know, they're not able to produce. And of course, the food price is going to go up. And then these big elite guys, <laughs> mm. well, they don't want us eating meat or anything like that. And you want to see something else. Look on the back of most food that you're buying. I'm telling you what, you're gonna see something that's gonna say bioengineered products in there. Literally, they are putting stuff into our food that is bioengineered. It's not even real anymore. And Judy and I have just said, that's it. We're not even buying any of that stuff. And, you know, when we see that, I'm thinking, I don't know what they're putting in there. I know for, for one thing, they don't want us eating meat. They want us eating bugs. And it wouldn't surprise me if they have ground up crickets and who knows what else in there. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not trusting it anymore. You know, not like when we were kids. Look, when we were kids, you didn't have to put organic on the label. And why not? Because when we were kids, a lot of stuff was genuinely real. You know, but now that they have all this other food prep technology and stuff that they can do and chemical mixtures they can put together and they've been practicing for, you know, decades. Well, now you don't even, I, a lot of that food is practically, you know, it's not even real. We bought a little package of these fruit chews, you know. I'm biting into this thing and I'm like, man, this just tastes like, it has a texture of flavored wax. Turn it around and look on the label and find out, you know, there's not hardly a name on there you can practically pronounce. I mean, guys, we're killing ourselves eating this stuff. But the reason why is because of the narratives they feed us, right? All this kind of stuff that they're doing, everything like that. This is the stuff that they're putting out there that, hey, you can afford this and this and that. And you can barely even afford real food. Guys, don't swallow or drink the Kool-Aid. And for those that don't know that reference, Look it up because back in our day, there was a big time situation where people were, you know, fed a bunch of Kool-Aid and, you know, put to sleep kind of thing. And that's where that terminology comes from. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Don't listen to all this nonsense of what these guys are all telling you. Use your own common sense. You know for yourself when you go to the store and you see big increases like that from 38 cents to 98 cents kind of deal in less than one year that, hey, inflation is out Outrageous. But I'll tell you what, they're going to use it as a big time excuse to keep that printing press going like no tomorrow. And that's what these central banks have to do. Now, what does that tell you, guys? It tells you that, look, we are going to see eventually an end to this dog and pony show. And this fiat system is going the way of the dodo. And they are bringing in a new digital system. It is as plain as the nose on your face. You don't have to look too far down the road. And every day it seems that there are more and more articles about central bank digital currencies, about digital IDs, about all this stuff that's going to be implemented. And what are they using, guys? They're using distributed ledger technology as the backbone to build it all. And what are you and I invested in right now? You guessed it, DLT, XRP, XLM, Hedera Hashcraft, all of these various ones, XDC and all that. And think about this. You got the Depository Trust and Clearing Corp. Now, you don't know what that is. Go and investigate what the DTCC is. They put through trillions of dollars of transactional volume per day when it comes to settling a lot of these stock market, you know, buy, sells, you know, put calls, all that kind of stuff. Well, they just signed up not too long ago to R3 Corda for instant settlement on those transactions because normally settlement would happen in like one to three business days, right? Well, their instant settlement, they want to move it to 30 minutes 
you know, to do it, which I guess, you know, for one to three days, 30 minutes, pretty instant. But needless to say, do you know what R3 Corda uses for that instant sediment? They use XDC and they use XRP. Boom, right there. <laughs> yeah. It never ceases to amaze me just how wild people would like the narrative that comes up and they really, really believe that you and I are totally blithering idiots and we're just going to buy whatever they sell and we're just going to consume whatever they give. And the problem is this, guys, they have trained a whole generation of folks to do that, right? They've used social media. They used the fifth estate. They used all this kind of stuff. And people have basically acquiesced and allowed, you know, the state to do most of their thinking for them. Don't let that be you. Get out there, investigate this space, see what these guys are saying, what the authenticity of it is and what the real numbers are, and then make up your own mind. That's what I would say. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. I sure hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. And until later on today, where I have a major video to actually come out and talk about one that you guys have been wanting to hear, questions that I've been asked for a long, long time, and especially... Just yesterday's video, the questions I got, I'm going to answer those questions in this video later on tonight, one you're not going to want to miss. So until then, guys, I sure hope you have a fantastic day and take care.